it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> martial arts, it's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not, Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, roundhouse kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to establish the jab early on here. What a wild start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? strike here he has landed several in this round and if you are a counter striking stylist you can do worse than watching this guy compete beautiful job defensively head movement foot movement and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round it's there, right Lee going for the leg kick he does not connect oh slips and rips how about that for execution 
that one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Nice kick to the body. A hook to the head by Smith. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to count after blocking shots. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit but he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Smith gets caught and it's another straight punch. He has had no answer for that weapon tonight. Landed a solid punch there. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Nice jab there by Anthony Boyd. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Smith going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. It was a good night at that landed. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Keep the pressure on, everything's landing. Smith gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Straight punch, useful. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt him. Oh! Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Straight right hand, no good. Man. Final second to round one. Round two straight ahead. Oh. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. That's the pace we're talking about. That's the cardio that I'm used to seeing right there, just like in training. Next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. 
And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. A straight punch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, nice. hook shot blocked there. Man, has his chin been tested early. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big head kick. Oh, man, he's a hard. These eyes closing up now. Not good for him. Huge block there. Just over two minutes now to go. Nicely done with the kick there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, this is big. That's big. Beautiful spinning kick lands. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one. And you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise. This oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Very nice leg kick there by Lionheart Smith. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't Game of inches right Don't there, it. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, great block there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Nice shot there by the champ. Choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very bad. Smith slipping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damaged, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way. Oh. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Drives the shit into the rim. Great body kick. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on them. Right hook to the head block. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Certainly found the target. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Lee's kick, that one blocked. That was a oh. oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. I don't want to tell Lee. Oh, big left hand there. Oh! Circling towards the left now. Back and forth we go. Lee's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Lead left by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Lands the sidekick now. Kick downstairs. Oh, man, another huge kick. Oh! 
Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh. He's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you got to think at some point if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do that. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent could take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Trying to turn out the lights. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. He's wobbling now. Oh, oh another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? He's got to be careful here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Nice punch to the head. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Can't take many of those. You better check. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Effective jab there by Lee. Punch. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish with it. You think it's right there. But at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Smith's nose is bleeding now. Lands a beautiful leg kick. 
All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. 30 seconds to go. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. 20 seconds left. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ah. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, back to the stools now, signifying the end of the round. Man, his nose is mangled. It's severely cut up right now. I think the fight could end at any moment. We'll see what the cut man can do here. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Block the strike there. Counter on the hook is good. Nice job by Lee. Straight right is there. Big power shot there. Huge block there. Oh, He's got to start throwing down. Big right hand. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. now towards the left. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Big shot to the head. Well, he blocked that punch. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When there's a, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Lee's eye is essentially swollen shot at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest 
at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Lionheart Smith. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much 